Hey and welcome to another Rune with Aragon. So I recently made a video where I was claiming that the Dragonfire, this belt item just here, was dealing twice as much damage as, say, the Neverwintian Hawk. Many of you might have the Hawk, as from previous battle passes, you were actually able to get it for free in, like, Echoes of Prophecy, or even from the limited time on the Wings of Dragon campaign when Module 23 went live, you are also able to get it there. And so... With this recent battle pass, Roth Valley, which is actually going away very soon, you're able to obtain a new belt item, but you have to actually have the premium pass in order to obtain it. And well, I did. I went and spent that currency and got the belt item and have been testing it in actual in-game content like Master Temple of the Spider and just yesterday in Demogorgon. Now, the reason why I'm making the up video now is they made an announcement that this Roth Valley Battle Pass, the final milestone, will be ending actually on November the 22nd for those of you who don't have the premium pass. Which is a bit weird because I thought it would end on November the 29th, like it says, big and bold up there. Nowhere does it say November the 22nd anywhere. Not that I can see, right? Anyway, November the 22nd, you will no longer be able to make progress on this, and I would highly recommend you get your free coalescent moat before that time. But if you do pick up the premium pass, like I did, we still have until November the 29th to finish and obtain it. Now, Ultimately, this data might lead you to wanting to obtain the Dragonfire gadget. And currently, I don't know if it works exactly the way it sh sh was intended when it was initially created. It could be a bug, and the devs could decide at any time they're just going to change it and make it deal less damage. And that way, it might even end up dealing less damage than the Hawk. And so, it's entirely up to you whether you want to make the gamble on getting it or not before time is up. So for a limited time on testing purposes, the Epic Trial Demogorgon is back and we jumped into the master version, which was kind of underwhelmingly easy, at least for us maxed out characters. And we went and fully completed it. You can watch my gameplay video that I posted yesterday. I may make an updated video, which will be in much shorter form, just explaining a few of the basic mechanics you should know. But on towards this Dragonfire gadget. We can see compared to the Hawk, it deals a bunch of damage over time, whereas the Hawk's like 630 magnitude, which then is affected by all your stats. But the Dragonfire gadget is exactly the same, getting affected by your stats and debuffs and so on. And so let's have a look at some data. So in Demogorgon, when we managed to fully complete it, you can see here is an example of my log. And Scorch, which is the damage from the Dragonfire, is like 6% of my damage. That is pretty significant. Let's compare that to somebody who was using the Hawk, and we can see that his damage was 2%. Hawk dive. Yeah, so that's quite a big damage difference between the two. And... Yeah, again, it's up to you whether that warrants getting it or not. Now, if you look closer at the data, you can see that this rogue was probably only using his hawk every 60 seconds during the artifact call, since only 10 hits in like 8 and 30 minutes. Whereas you can see again here, 10 hits in 9 and 40 minutes. And again, the Hawk only being about 2%. So if he was, yes, always trying to use it within an artifact call to get like 1.5 million damage on one hit, then you'd probably get maybe 3% if you squeezed it in between the artifact calls instead of just 2% does make its damage look a little bit better than if that was done, but I can understand why you don't bother try and squeeze it in in between because it's cast time and it's animation. It can be just so annoying. Now, in some content, it may be more beneficial to have the Hawk over the Dragonfire, mainly when you want damage right then and there in one hit. You want that instantaneous burst damage, like to breaking somebody out of a cocoon. The Hawk can help, whereas the Dragonfire might take too long to deal enough damage. Now, if you want to see some more data, you can see this is within Master Temple of the Spider. This was the first boss there. You can see Scorch, 
over five minutes was dealing a total of again 6% of its total damage. And that's a warlock who is excellent within that first boss with all those adds. And we can compare that again to also a wizard using Scorch in the first boss. And you can see again, it was 6%. Compare that to a ranger who was using the Hawk, you can see it was 4%. So the damage difference isn't actually that big of a deal, depending if you can get the timing right. If you can get the Hawk in that sweet spot of the artifact call, it'll still do a decent chunk of damage, but still a bit less than what you're gonna get from the Dragonfire. For me, I personally way prefer the Dragonfire as it's a much easier cast time. You're not gonna accidentally cancel it like you will with the Hawk. That is what just drove me nuts on my Rogue. But that's a personal thing. I'm sure you can do just as good with the Hawk with its cast time if you get your muscle memory correct with it. But ultimately, yes, the Dragonfire is a little bit better. And in some con, especially with some ads here and there, it will outperform the Hawk. And so that's that's just facts, guys. Whether you want to spend that extra Zen is entirely up to you to obtain it. Who knows? The next battle pass, which is actually going to be just then on November the 29th, the reason why Roth Valley is ending, we can see November the 29th, we'll be getting North Dark Divided Battle Pass. It could have another belt item, which could be even better than the Dragonfire. So it is entirely a gamble whether you want to get it or not. If its value in Zen is not worth it for you, then it just isn't. And overall, it's only really going to benefit those min-maxers who really care about getting that top bit of damage. And ultimately, you'll do just fine, even without the Hawk or the Dragonfire. You can use some companion bells. You can use your Forger's box. You can use some battle horns or some other belt items. There's quite a number of them out there, but yes, not many that you can actually get just by playing the game. Most of them are actually like limited event ones. And so again, a special thank you to all of these channel members for their added support. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.